because I'm the same guy I was when I left. You know, for, for you, you know, and, and this is obviously it's a personal question, but I, I'm thinking again about somebody who might be watching this and want to mm -hmm. be you. Uh, is it easier for you to work with artists that you have before they become famous or inheriting an artist and taking their career to the next level after they had a level of fame? I think today's blue we, is easy. So I, honestly, I, I, I'm not a fan of inheriting artists because usually they've learned some bad habits from, habits from subpar managers. I am more of a fan of co-management of a young manager that's got things going and he's looked up and now he's in the rooms with Sylvia's and all these people and he feels a little overwhelmed and needs some help or some advice. All that. You can shine, kid. Get it. My ego does not require me to shine. You can be the one out front. People can do it. You talk to me. We'll figure out strategize. When you need me to make the big calls, boom, I'll make the calls so we can get shit done. That's me now. Young Blue, I run through buildings. I was Superman. I didn't like put everybody on my back and I'm gonna carry us to the finish line because that was my mentality. So when you're young and you've got the energy and the drive, go, go hard, like work your hours, put in your grind. That's what those are gonna not only be the toughest time, but they're the best time because that's where you're built at. Be smart enough to know if you need some help. If you don't want to go to a manager because you're scared you're gonna lose your arms or whatever, get you a good lawyer. But you need somebody else smart in the room with you. I was blessed that. I had Chuck Kim in the room. I had access to Chris Lighty. I had access to Leo Cohen. And I wasn't scared to ask questions. Chuck Kim's best trait was that he basically had a no question is too dumb policy. So I could walk upstairs, knock on his door, ask a question. Yeah, do it like that. Well, boom, after I've asked two or three questions and I start realizing the fourth time I might just try it on my own. Oh shit, the fourth or fifth time I did it on my own, it worked. Now I'm offering money. Next time I go for him is going to be when I run across something new. Now I go back and ask another question. Shaquem was never insecure, so he never had a problem answering and telling me the question. The answer is because he knew I was going to take the knowledge and run downstairs and go do a better job for the company. You have to be, you have to take people where you find them, I would say. And if you're a young manager right now, your biggest, which you can't compete with me if you're a young manager is my experience and my relationship. You can't. You're not going to get it out. But what you can is your, 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 your relationships and your understanding of where things are currently. Find your peers. Find, find your class, as I like to say. Some of us came into business around the same time. This is our class. Yep. Paul manages Eminem. Mark Pitts and I used to do pop shows together. Like some of us came in as Steve Rifkin, we kind of entered around the same time. That's my class. I'm able to reach out to those people. But if you come came in recently and you you know Tuma, who's head of Def Jam now, and you know certain people, that's your class. Make sure you got the relationship with your class before you even have to call me and my people and my class and stuff. Grow, get out there, shake hands, kiss the babies, like be. Be who you say you're going to be. When you do get a client, communicate with the label. Be visible. Don't just sit back and let it look like you're just waiting for checks to roll in. Get out there and be active. As you grow, figure out where you want to go also. Are you going to put all your eggs in just this one artist and that's going to be your path? Do you want to grow a management company of your own like I did? Or do you want to take your artist, go into a management company, and get bigger resources and access and possibly get a check while you go. It's like, you kind of got to figure out what your lane is that works best for you and your personality. Everybody's not an entrepreneur. Everybody can't live check to check. Everybody can't live waiting for commission checks to come in. Shit's stressful. Artists have the shortest memory in the world. It's time to play commission check. Everybody gets stupid. Stuttering, <laughs> don't know what you're talking about. You got to chase down your check. You're like, dog, really? So, that's stressful for a lot of people. So everybody's not built for that. Some people are built to be at a company, get a check each week, get a bonus instead of commission and work like that because they want to know that their check is going to be in a bank every Friday and they can do it. So you got to kind of judge where you are.
you want to fly with no net or do you want a net you know kind of it's everybody's personality what's up guys thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video truly appreciate you if you like anything you heard here today go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you know anybody that can benefit from this message feel free to share peace and love make every move a power move and i catch you all on the next video